Hello guys, hope you're all doing well, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can overclock your monitor, your RAM, and your CPU. So let's just get straight into it. Alright, so you might be thinking like, overclocking RAM, but that's, that doesn't make any sense because all you need to do is set your XMP profile. Um, well, technically it's still an overclock, um, which is a little bit um, weird because you have to overclock to get your um, advertised speeds. So... With that, let's just um, let's just check out how you can do that. So you can see that um, there's a separate overclocking um, like setting. So if you hop on that, um, you can see that there's a DRAM setting. So as you can see, mine's already set to profile one, um, but yours is probably going to say like disabled or something like that. So it was disabled for me, and I just clicked on um, profile one because. Um, that gives me the speed of um, 3600 megahertz, um, which is the advertised speed. So that's simple enough. Um, you set your XMP, XNP profile. And um, let's just move straight into um, overclocking your CPU. And there's a reason why you should overclock your CPU and not be like afraid of, oh, what if it crashes? Um, you know, what if I mess up the parts? But it's actually really hard to actually like totally damage your parts because even if I set this to like some crazy number, um, it's it, it's going to crash before I reach the desktop. So um, when that happens like a couple of times, Windows is going to be like, oh, um, something's wrong. So it's going to ask you if you want to enter safe mode and then you just hit yes, I want to enter safe mode and then you go back into your BIOS and then you change that um, to a reasonable number. So. I bumped mine from 36 to 37, and all you need to do is, um, you see that number, you just kind of change it, and it's like going to be like 100 times um, less um, than the actual like megahertz, so this is going to be like technically, like, um, if I put 38, it would be 3800 megahertz. Um, I'm not going to bump this up anymore until like I, I get a better cooler, um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that pretty soon though. Next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how you can overclock your monitor. So for this, you don't need to be in your BIOS. So just boot into your desktop and I'll, and I'll, uh, and we'll see what you can do from there. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've, I'm all booted into the desktop and um, overclocking your monitor is actually pretty simple. Um, it requires the use of something called uh, custom resolution utility. So as you can see, I've already downloaded that. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, but all you want to do once you have it downloaded is open it up and um, as, as you can see I've already overclocked it from 60 Hertz to up to 65 Hertz with little drop in performance so to um, add a pro profile is all you need to do is click add change the timing to automatic LCD standard and keep these the same and um, change this to um, whatever you like, but I would, um, I would recommend that you move up like five at a time. So like 59 to 65, if your windows doesn't crash, then, um, 70 and then things like that. Uh, but don't worry about the crashing part. You can just enter safe mode and change things up. It's not really crashing on you. Um, so once you're done with that, you can just click on okay, but since I already have it overclocked, I'm just could uh, cancel it. And then you just click on okay. And then you're just going to have to restart your computer um, so that the settings can actually take place. And once you've restarted it, just go to your display settings. Go to advanced display settings, display adapter properties for display one. Go to monitor and change the refresh rate. So mine actually is already at 65 hertz. But say I just, like, I just got uh, the profile set up. Um, this is going to be 60 and I just have to click on 65. And it's gonna, a little message is gonna pop up and it's like, do you wanna keep these changes? And you just say, keep changes, and then click apply, and then okay. And then you successfully changed your refresh rate. And now you can experience higher um, FPS in games. You can have a better experience overall. Um, and um, combine this with overclocking your CPU and your um, frequency for your RAM. And you've got a pretty, pretty decent overclock in all. So I think that just concludes um, this uh, video. I hope you guys learned something from it. I hope it helped you guys. 
And I will be doing um, overclocking the GPU pretty soon um, once I figure that all out. And I think that's enough content to make its own video. So with that, um, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys stay safe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.